So what's the biggest changes you've seen in business over the last 28 years? The obvious being technology, e-commerce, the speed and volume of data flow and OCR. Um, this gives the ability to access financial performance and management information quickly to make effective and course correction decisions. The speed of doing business in the 24-7 environment has created pressure on advisory with an immediate now response attitude. People are no longer patient, that's what I find. Um, this reaffirms the need to look forward by doing more future strategic and financial budgets and cash flows to take pressure off the immediate now advice. Um, valuing the contributions of trusted and expert accountants and business advisors. Um, this is what I find the greatest impact, the DIY culture, I suppose, being the reason. Off-the-shelf accounting packages, for example, have empowered business owners that they can be accountants and bookkeepers um, to produce accurate results. We see a lot of that just don't get it right, so distorted financial information results. And the concern there is when you apply for finance or really reflecting what your rate of return of investment is. Leading on from the above, um, self-assessment in tax exists. The ATO no longer checks your information or rely on you to get it right. I feel there is a false sense of security that what I, what I data enter and provide as accounts as I've lodged it is simply correct, but it's not. You actually have seven years where you can be tax audited. Tax often is the primary focus of everybody um, and merely doing a BAS. Focus should be on financial accurate information to increase profit and cash flow. BAS reports, if on a cash basis, are not management reports. Um, the overconfidence that business tech platforms generate accurate reports. What I mean by that is um, data entry into a tech platform, whether it's an e-commerce to a zero, is always subject to the quality of the data flow, like um, the concept of GIGA, which is basically garbage in means garbage out. So investing is often lacking in setting up the correct process and system. Um, the modern advi advisor would appear to have lost touch. I say this as a professional because I, I can say that. Um, I think in understanding accounting fundamentals as well as checking or just simply stepping back on the profit and loss and balance sheet and just seeing, does it really make sense? Even though clients self-assess and accounts are not audited, we remind our clients that any company must comply with section 286 of corporations law, that the financial information is true and correct and can be audited. So it's about financial quality.